welcome back to another session in this session i'm going to explain you about form with dynamic tables okay how to create the tables and how it will be act as a dynamic how to apply the dynamism to the tables okay i will show you in this session okay so <coughs> first i'm going to the designer I am creating the one form. So you know how to create form, right? So same thing. I am doing the same. Okay. data XML and dragging one text field for a header in this sample form like ABC Inc employees details form changing the font as well I am changing to OCRX extended font one more text field and one date field okay placing one text field and uh, I am just giving the name like value as India ok let's see ok now, now I am going to create the table so in our uh, object library we have the table object right so you just drag and drop table object then it will prompt for see how many rows how many columns you want header is required header footer required so all these things it will <coughs> ask we just give a number of columns and the rows i'm just giving the three and uh, along with the header see table is created so like this we have to create the tables in the am designer so this is a static form static sorry static table so we give the header and we are giving the three columns and one row so that is why it's created header one row body one row and three columns and three column i'm renaming the column names employee id employee name and city in each cell I am going to place the one text field okay 
because we have to place the text right so that's why I'm going to press text field so now we want to make this as a dynamic right so that's why I'm going to give repeat row for each data item so this is the place we have to tick the checkbox okay so and now I'm doing the data binding we have already seen right this data by XML data binding so I'm just selecting the XML and finish okay now instead of creating the te te text field I'm just drag drop dragging and drop into the each cell employee name city see if you drag and drop then error marks will be appear ok see if you see that binding automatically bind row repeat the column so minimum one maximum unlimited if you want you can give ok I'm saving the form I'm saving as XTP I'm giving employees uh, some XTP employees form dot XTP click on save demo folder fine ok now I am going to execute this form ok I think we already configured right this, is this uh, PDF or oh, no sorry so data XML right so here we have to give the our XML m plus data XML right so that we have to configure here but this is a testing purpose okay okay fine now I'm going to the preview the PDF see it's created right data will be created and the table also dynamically created I hope you can understand this concept dynamic tables thank you Thanks for watching this video.